Okay, so I'm making this video for you guys that have the older generation uh, Spectrum radios and we don't have the forward programming of the NX series. So this is a way of programming the um, reverse thrust uh, without having the advanced programming of the newer model. So what you're going to need is uh, the Spectrum Smart ESC programmer, uh, the V2 I guess. Uh, and also a male to male lead here. Now in the 90 millimeter Viper, the uh, ESC is right up in this section right here. And I believe to get it out, you would actually need to remove the, the uh, EDF. And there's a little uh, grill down here that you can pull it out for from, but you can actually do it this way as well. If you look in here, uh, you'll have to take like a little pokey tool here. And right up in this area is actually the three prongs for the uh, male to male lead to go into. So you have to get that inserted in there. And I'll do that off camera and I'll show you guys it with it sticking out there. And I would suggest you leaving a male to male lead sticking out of this so you can actually do the uh, programming from the box. Okay, and the way I'm going to do it here is I'm going to take uh, a needle nose pliers and poke this all the way in there. I, I would say just the standard long one, not a short one. Uh, but yeah, any type of tweezers or something that you can get uh, all the way in there. Okay guys, so you can see I have the male to male lead in here. And it is all the way inside there. You're not going to be able to see, but it, it took me about three or four minutes to uh, get that inside there. Okay guys, so this is the Spectrum Smart ESC programmer. This is also a cell checker, which is kind of cool to have that in your box. You're going to be plugging this into here, which is the uh, ESC port. Uh, don't worry if you plug it in backwards, it will not uh, reverse polar polarize or anything, or it's not going to burn anything out. You just, if it doesn't turn on when you plug it in, you just flip it around. Okay, so let me go ahead and do that real quick. And I am holding this in my hand at the same time, so hang on. Actually, I'm going to plug in the, uh, the battery first. Okay, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and hook up the program box here. Hang on a second. Connecting to ESC. Oh, I guess you have to push this button first to connect to the ESC. Durr. Okay, model one, avian. Okay, so we're going to go through, um, this is the select button. It's going to go through the different uh, things that you can change. So I'm just going to keep scrolling through this till I get to the things I need to show you guys. So number two is brake type, which I have set as reverse right now. So um, and when it comes from the factory, it is at disabled, I believe. So you're just going to scroll through normal, proportional, and reverse. So you're going to leave it on reverse. You're going to hit the select button here again. Don't worry about the brake force. So it's going to scroll through this. These are all the different things you can change in the ESC. And we're going to go to number 10, 11, 12, 13. Thrust reverse, so you can change the channel that it's um, that it's assigned to. So I have this assigned to channel eight, and that's how I set mine up. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you guys here what I have on my uh, radio. Okay, so I let me just go and show you. I've got the my reverse uh, thruster on this switch right here, which is the uh, G switch. Um, all the way back is forward thrust. Middle right. position is proportional um, reverse thrust, and then I actually have it set up on a full uh, reverse um, in the uh, s uh, number two position. So go back to zero Normal here. Mode. And let me just show you my screen here. So there is my switch here, which is going to be on Breaking. aux three. Mix on. Braking. Normal mode. There we go. So aux three and channel eight is what I'm having this uh, program to. So let me show you how to do that with a programmer. Uh, the one thing I should mention is once you program everything, you want to hit the save button at the very end. And so save data. Okay, that means everything has been accepted. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off. And I am going to leave this lead in here. I had to take it off because I need to uh, program my Draco because I had to switch the ESC in my Draco. And when I put it back together, the, uh, the reversing didn't work. So once I learned how to do it here, I did it with my Draco as well. So, okay, so here we go. I'm just going to stand here in front of my airplane. And I'll just give it a little bit of throttle here. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. If uh, if you've been programming, it, you have to reconnect the battery here. So I'll reconnect the battery, and then uh, I can show you thrust. Plug back in here. It's gonna do the dance two times. That means I've got safe select. Okay, so my throttle's on. So I'm just gonna give it um, a little minimal throttle here. Okay, so that is regular thrust. I'm gonna go to my mid position here. And that's reverse thrust. I can feel the air coming out here. And I'm going to hold on to this here. If I switch this one more time, it's going to go full reverse. 
which is pretty crazy. It just goes super fast. And this is the guy on YouTube, Brian Phillips, showed how to do that. And that's kind of a cool mix. Um, you basically put it to 100% uh, reverse throttle on the eighth channel there. So um, and let me see if I can show the mix here. Um, okay, guys, let me just show you my mix real quick that I have. Um, this is my mix one, aux three to throttle on G. Let me just take a look at it. So uh, this is, you can see that it's on switch two, uh, position two here, and it's on switch G. Um, so I put it at 125, I guess, uh, uh, Brian, through Brian Phillips has said that the throttle can go to 125%, so I did that, and offset is 100%. So that allows you to do that third position on the switch to be completely full reverse, so you don't have to think about it. The reason I did this is because you get task saturated as you're landing, you're trying to land your airplane, and hitting the switch and then giving it full throttle. If you hit the wrong switch and you hit full throttle, you're gonna go into the end of your runway. So just hitting that switch just automatically goes into full reverse thrust and it works really, really good. I actually tried that out today and it saved me from going into a fence. So guys, I hope you like this video. Uh, I'll talk to you guys on the next one, bye.